Hello, my lovelies, it's Susanna, and today I want to show you two different methods how to calculate this in your head. We don't need a calculator, I promise, but first of all, I want to show you what we're not allowed to do, because I can imagine that some of you might say, hey, we have a 42 here, we have a 42 here, we just cancel it out. But the thing is that we have a plus symbol here and every time you have a plus or a minus that means that this whole thing belongs together and we are not allowed to just cancel things out separately. This would only be allowed if we had a multiplication symbol here. Then it would be okay, but it's not the case here. So let's take a look at the first method how to solve this properly. We have a big fraction here with a sum in the numerator. We can say, mm, I don't like this one big fraction. I separate it into two smaller fractions that are connected with a plus because of this plus here. The denominator is 42. That doesn't change also here, 42. And in the numerator, we have the first part of the sum here, the 42 squared. And here in the numerator, we have the second part of the sum, just the 42. And now it's easier to take care of the individual fractions here, the smaller fractions. Here we have 42 squared, which is nothing else than 42 times 42. So now we have the multiplication symbol and are allowed to cancel out the 42. We learned this. So the 42 is what is left plus, don't forget this one here, 42 divided by 42, which is just one. So as a result, we have 43 and have solved this problem with the first method but I promised you to show you a second method and I'm curious which one you like more. We can also say yes we have a sum in the numerator and in the first part of the sum we have the 42 and in the second part of the sum we have the 42 as well so we can extract the 42 out of this sum. Let's do it and see what happens then. Okay, 42 extracting and put parentheses. What is left in the parentheses then? We have the plus. Okay, we put it in here already. We want to extract the 42. What is left in the first part then? We had 42 squared, which is 42 times 42. If we extract the 42 here, only second 42 is left in the parentheses here in the first part. What about the second part? Well, we had a 42 there. So it is a 42 times 1. If we extract the 42, then only this 1 is left here. Okay. In the denominator, we still have the 42, but now we have a multiplication symbol here. So we are allowed to cancel out the 42. And the only thing that's left is 42 plus 1. And the result is, of course, the same with the 43. And that was the second method. I'm curious how you solve this problem. Please let me know in the comments. I wish you a wonderful day and hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care.